I might kill a few more inmates, if you don't mind. Plug? What is plug? What is this? I'm not sure how to use that. to walk all the way back. Well, Alex over there. Probably need to go to him anyway. <sighs> nah. What is this? Just one from one top of the other. Where did all these people come from? Long walking sequences. Wait, where is he? Where am I going? Carry a problem for you. Amazing, you under the breakout. Let's just say the boom is gonna be big and loud. Maybe now I can walk on taking my ass out of here. I mean, I'm getting too old for this shit anyway. Here, take this. I don't have any need for it anymore. Leveled up. Razor. 
Draw Nets Mission Reward. Go to the Cosmodrome. Dark Horse is over there. Okay, it's level 22. And I'm considered level 12. Sure, we can do it. Um, give me more evasion. Actually, I think evasion is my biggest thing right now. Go to the racetrack. Yeah, that's something else. Let's go to the racetrack. You were standing next to the bad guy, what can I say? Hello! That's nice. Got the girls by hacking and destroying vending machines. Yeah, I did. Someone have to for me? Gemini stacks P6. No, that. Observation: a neon giant. Reaction: peculiar. A neon giant. Dominator, what's that? What is a dominator? A uh, ballistic machine gun. Dominator puts. Serious firepower into the hands of a single individual. Large magazine capacity and heavy caliber slugs compensate for the reduction in accuracy. Weapon made popular by the Arcology Blues Holodrome series. So let's compare it to the Dread. Definitely more powerful. Full auto. That's rounds per second. Hmm. But it does more DPS. Reload time is longer. Let's. Give it a shot. Oh, I like it. But I need something more effective for this.
Apple Gemini. If you're running away from a fight, don't run into the person fighting. Corp Zone. For many low habits, the Corp Zone is all they will ever see of the true nature of the ecology in the Ascent Group, i.e. that the entire gigantic structure is in essence a huge corporate HQ behind the dark, glossy facade that the Corp Zone office stacks thousands of mid-level employees work grueling hours at their screens, generating, filtering, and trying to make sense of endless amounts of sometimes pointless data. This is the rank and file of the relentless corporate machine, far removed from the posh upper-tier offices and perpetually stuck in a rat race to nowhere. Here, many other corporations maintain subsidiary offices for their ongoing dealings with the Ascent Group, and many stacks are adorned with corporate logos. The larger criminal organizations also maintain offices here, and there is rampant corporate espionage ongoing between many buildings. The node. If it has a price, you can find it in the node. When the Ascent Group Ecology was first constructed, this area was zoned as a commodities auction exchange due to its close proximity to one of the major transportation hubs. A massive data exchange, the node tree, was constructed, to which prospective buyers and sellers could jack in to ensure 100% secure transactions. The tree quickly grew in size and sprouted many branches and sub-branches as the Ecology itself grew more and more busy. It wasn't long before other services and smaller shops began popping up around the node tree, and as time went by and the tree itself fell into decline, the area around it grew to become a busy hive of relentless commerce. Regular mega-brand outlets now stand wall-to-wall -wall with micro pop-up stores. Protein noodle stalls, licensed and unlicensed crafters, nug junk shops, and anything else one might imagine that might be sold for you creds. Everyone is trying to outdo one another with signage to the point that Corpsec has been forced to set energy consumption limits in relation to stall size or the local fusion plant would likely overload. The node is also a place for any kind of non-corporate deal making. Non-corporate in the sense that it's unofficial. Plenty of corporations have reps roaming the node looking for the latest and greatest in fashion and technology and sometimes dealing with the less savory organizations such as Onyx Void away from the prying eyes of the competition. Okay. You were killed by a katana. How? What? No, it wasn't. Also, I'm very happy when my enemies are off screen and I can't see them. It's just lovely. Oof. No, I'm not giving up, even though they're very high, very beyond my level.
Turbo Quiche. Most Quiche use neural inhibitors to regulate their internal circuit boards so that they can fit into multi-species society. Some don't. Instead, they revel in their true Quiche nature, appearing as raving lunatics to every other civilized society in the known galaxy. They make for formidable foes with impossibly fast reflexes and a supercharged metabolis- metabolism that allows them to heal wounds while still in combat, equipped with rapid-fire submachine guns to match their rapid-fire synapses. Oh damn. Russian pants. Mm, more evasion. And a lot more protection. Let's take it. Is he invisible or something? Just don't send me all the way back. They sent me all the way back. Corp zone. Maybe I don't need to go through here. Maybe there's another way. I don't think there's another way. Okay, no giving up. smooth top a lot more protection more evasion take it also looks kind of cool excuse me what oh Another. 
Uf. I need to find something that generates health. Yeah, I'm redlining. I'm redlining. Low rank bounty detected. Act accordingly. What is accordingly? Ah! ah, ah. I'm here. Why am I here? No, that's not working either. Fine, I'll pick another mission. That's too lost and found. Get me the hell out of here. Where am I going? I'm going to High Street, I guess. Salty Panda. It's a shop. They sell shop things. Cosmodrome. What is over here? Yeah, okay. Sam's Gate, named after CEO Sam of the Ascent Group Board, is the legal and intended route to, to and from the Arcology Cosmodrome, filled with waiting areas, inspections and corporate customs officials. The area provides the facilities needed to handle the constant influx of more people arriving from off-world. Disliked by smugglers but heavily controlled, they are always looking for new ways to dock but not take the obvious path to market with their goods. The passenger reception facilities have suffered since the collapse and baggage handling has completely imploded. Most of the dismay of the travelers still arriving. Scientists. These aggressive eggheads have given their life to science. And they'll sacrifice yours too if that's what's needed to achieve the next breakthrough. While their lab coats don't offer much protection and their aim is unsteady, their guns still hurt if they manage to hit you. Okay. 
Sons of Cycles providing the best transport infrastructure in the common. That's a nope. Self service check Metro. Headsets. Razor drone nets. Initiate a swarm of drones that deal damage to enemies in range. Not a premium 8 core product. These micro drones are pre programmed to find targets weak spots and maximize damage output. Ah. Techcom headset increases handling. Hmm, but less armor. I need the armor. Just want to get some baggage. That's it. Oh wait, this is one place to search for it. What did it say? Yellow U plus bag Nug Lover. No? Deep Stink Rebreather? Oh, a plug. Ekmisk.
a deep stink rebreather. Gives me more energy. I don't think it's here. Yeah, doing it like this doesn't make aiming hard at all. Just looking for a freaking bag. Not here. Vital tracks vest. Yeah, also already seen it. It is very protective. It adds to balance. like the, the the port from fifth element found it the cosmodrome the ecology cosmodrome is defined by enormous lattice girders ship service system fuel depots docking bay sockets goods handling machinery and offices for the harbor master maintenance subsidiaries and company custom officials Traffic is often intense with cargo and maintenance mechs moving about everywhere and the autonomous cranes loading and unloading cargo of all types while very recently thawed passengers make their way from the orbital shuttles to the processing stations where they will confirm their indentured contracts. Mostly ate Hung. Hung wasn't bought to power, he fought for it, grabbed it and pulped anyone who stood against him. And all the while he never lost his cool. A fast riser with an onyx void, few dare to cross or fail him. There were plenty of bodies lying around as examples of what happens if you do. Oh, 
Oh, that's someone giving me an, an assignment. Where? Where is it? Looks like I'm standing on top of it. Oh. I heard about this one starship, hit a spell of interstellar space dust, got knocked off course, missed the mark by about a billion light years. Yeah, the AI is supposed to recalculate the route mid-flight when that happens, but sometimes they get caught in the loop, gone forever. Can you imagine? Like, what do you think the passengers are feeling? Neither dead or alive, just a bunch of frozen popsicles hurtling through space forever. I wonder, do you think they dreamed the whole time? For all eternity? Yeah, that wasn't the mission guy I was looking for. Where is the mission guy I'm looking for? What? Nothing else of interest. There should be some loot over here. Dying. point of this being closed when this is open. That's it. Well, the hell am I heading? It's over there in the corpse zone. Great! Liberation of Ration. How about we start from the top? This needs to go there. Humidity Doctor. We need to get back to Cluster 13. Also get back to Cluster 13. Uh, 
and I will collect the data to Bezel check an old workshop in the node yeah, I don't think I can go there yet there we go trading places can I just take the stairs? You get some bonuses for taking the stairs. Hello. Please disperse or face me for repercussions. It's okay. To kill one already. Astro Smasher Astro Smasher is an automatic rocket launcher <laughs> Oh my god Used to keep incoming meteorites at bay with a barrage of explosives When use the weapon it is as bizarre as it is devastating Auto fire Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Needs to charge up. Oh, 
MG Operative, the Malhost Gelb Corp is rich enough to employ their own CGTs, and they don't have to rely on fickle mercenary groups. With plenty of resources at hand, they provide their teams with quality weapons and equipment. MG CGTs are experts in range combat and are known for their reliance on heavy suppressive fire to break their foes. Heavy Monobot, heavy duty industry bot pre-purposed with regulation breaking weaponry and various auxiliary tools of, of a lethal variety. Their multi-layered protective plating designed to withstand all spelting temperatures is damn near impregnable. But while these iron giants are almost impervious to ballistic attacks of all kind, their inner systems are less insulated, and they are often vulnerable to both digital and energy weapons. Hmm. What are joggers? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I like it. It's too... it's too heavy, too cumbersome. Give me back my regular one. I need some health. Because I can barely see anything. Hello people! Time to get the hell out of here. Okay. Analyzing. Lock mechanism set to boarding defense mode. Hatch cannot be opened from outside. Suggestion. Find other means to breach hatch. I'm almost dead. What the hell? Are you trying to kill me? What? Whoa, what's the suit? Hey, let go of me. I'll pay you. Do you know who I am? Yes. Ah, welcome. 
If you'd have just accepted my call, we wouldn't have had to drag your ass all the way here. <coughs> Go fuck yourself. <coughs> Come now. What was Melhurst Gell planning to do with those indents? I don't have anything to say to you. Talk to my superiors. <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You seem to have misunderstood your situation. You see, you're officially listed as deceased in a refueling accident at the docks. I can keep you here till you talk or flatline from exposure. Whatever you prefer. Leave him here. I'll update you later. MG Rap. A mid level executive, this archetypal suit has spent his life learning how to avoid responsibility, blame others, and take credit for their work. This has guaranteed his meteoric rise within the Melhouse Scale Corporation, but everyone eventually reaches their level of incompetence. Clobber. Being Poon's second can be an easy job, and Clover would deserve some sympathy if he wasn't such a bloody wanker himself. Clover was once a handyman, until Poon decided to pull him from the gutter, i.e. sublevels, to become his personal purse holder. Nowadays Clover handles all the practical stuff Poon can't be bothered with, whether it be rent collecting, indent morale boosting, or just acting as a grumpy firewall between any indent complaint and Poon himself. Ooh. Completed trading places. Okay, first we level up. Four skill points, I think. Yeah, I think vital signs is what I need to do right now. Then go for some new quest givers. My most impressive. Looks like you really took those people apart. Um, I mean, looks like you really did your duty for science. I can't tell you, my boy, how thrilled I am with these results. Really and truly. I dare say we have enough here to put the feelers out, see which cops want to play ball with us. Okay. Cybersec Mega. Cybersec Mega is one of the largest Miltech manufacturers in the common and our main suppliers of Corpsec weapons and equipment. Known to be reliable, if somewhat rough from a design standpoint, a Cybersec gun or armor piece is not a fashion statement, but it'll get the job done. Black Market. Black Market can be wholly custom, built, or originated from any of the trademark labels. Some has just been relabeled, but a Black Market item is often altered in some significant way. Of special interest to the Sony buyers is the Joy Runner brand, denoting a loose collection of dedicated craftsmen who produce items of superior quality and of functionality. What's new in augmentations? Stasis Stomp. Oof. Companion arm to the popular hydraulic slam, this leg arm will put a solid stomp on your kick. Try it instead of the Razor Dronettes. Visit vendors. New goods become available over time. Low on cards? Have seven pistols you're not using? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what's new. First of all, sell everything. Um, I'll think about it. I know you're probably supposed to wear the thing you need for the place you want to go to, but I can't be bothered. No. Sell this. Sell this. Keep one heat. Keep one dominator. Keep one protector. Sell the riot gun.
machine guns, room sweeper. <coughs> Compared to the dread, higher firepower, higher uh, fire range, more clip, but significantly less damage. Even though it has more damage per second, it's expensive. Yes, two f is for eraser. It's like a shotgun without the sneak of cordite. <coughs> Energy shotgun. Hmm. That's a lot of damage. Precision. Oh, precision. Energy precision rifle. Modified piercing precision yield plus sports rifle made for competition shooting. This joy rhino creation is improved to perforate any ogda fr, refusing to stand down when told nicely. Step back, take your time, and enjoy your kills. Ah, excessive. Yeah, it's excessive. It is quite excessive. But I want to try this. Give me that as the main. No, give me that as the secondary. Hans is beside himself with excitement, and you have gathered the specimens needed. Wonderful! And for Mr. Pay, and here it is a booster of health and well being to relieve your daily aches and sufferings. Worth more than any measly sum of key credits. Thank you again, and please stop by any time should you need anything else. What? Vita Science Booster Mission Reward. It's an augment it's augmentation module. Increase max HP. Modules are internal boosters equipped equipped two mutations and a module. Modules are internal boosters installed in your body. They are passive boosts and your body can have two modules active at any time. You can find new modules in the world from enemies or buy them. Install modules via the journal or the grafter. And why do I need to go to a grafter if I can just install it? HP 198. Cool. Um, yeah, the weapon model. I see potential. First of all, switch me over to CSM. Camo. Yuck. CSM. Um. LPG launcher. Up. No, give me this as high as you can. I want this to be formidable. Yeah. Mark four, mark four, mark five. This is doing 230, this is doing 207. So the Dominator is better. Okay, back to Poon. Wait, right, I need to give him the steroids. It's downstairs. Awesome! Yeah. 
I don't know what they are, but there's a lot of them. ABR Commando Burst Rifle Ballistic The Commando has been around for as long as most people can remember. It had tried and true rotary bolt system, provides accurate bursts, preventing a nervous recruit or eager hangabout from emptying their entire magazine of homing bullets at the first sign of trouble. I think I love it. But I'm gonna try to punch her first. Give me the commando as my primary. Lovely. Excuse me a minute. You got the goods? Amazing, we're in business now. Wait a sec, you didn't sample the merchandise, did you? Let's just have a look here and make sure everything is in order. Right then, all here. You did good, little one. We're gonna be blowing up here in no time. Gonna get these noobs ripped to shreds in three weeks flat. Are they giving me a module? Creds and XP. Okay. Wait. There's more? Here again, just the guy I was looking for. So the stuff you got me from the good friend out in the node, shit is fan effing tastic. And all but here's the thing. The puny little columns that have been coming in here, the ones all desperate to get pumped up in that right quick. Well, I think their hearts have been starting to explode or some shit. Like seriously, the stuff is too intense. They just can't handle it. So yeah, we need some lower grade stuff. Something the Carlins can handle as well. I mean, business is booming now, but why leave money on the table? I want to be able to service all my clients. Know what I mean? So be a bro and do one more run. Get a newer, lighter grade. Sure. Here's the thing though. She's been tight lately and my guys had to move from the node to Stintown. Thought it would be best to lay low next little bit. These days no one gets in or out of the place without the proper say so, so our boy, well, he figured that he'd be that'd be a good bet, good place to ride out the shed. So yeah, assuming you can find a way in there, go get the stuff. And let's you and me get these little guys all checked up in no time. Heart attack not included this time out. These huge guys are lifting only the bar. Come on. You can do more. I think I have some bounties. You look like nobody's gonna miss that chrome sucking scumbag. One bounty is worth one tax side. This is ridiculous. So here's the deal. The AGI is still quiet. Amazing as that is. Rival CGTs are already coming into the Arcology to pick the bones clean. Yes. We have a chance of true independence here. But we have to act faster than an amped out feral before some enterprising CGT gobbles up our cluster. And our in-dead contracts with it. 
One of the bulb heads you rescued from Melrose Gelb claims we can funnel energy covertly from the old Tokamak down in the deep stink. He says we have a small window of opportunity to do this now before the reactor is appropriated by some other corporation. I'd rather control the entire Tokamak, but we have nowhere near the know-how or equipment to do a property grab like that. You need an AGI for that kind of thing. But if you do this right, the new owners won't notice our little arrangement. Uh -huh. I'm not fluent in tech, man, but enough to say that this will be a tricky feral to tame. The bulb head spoke of installing a double redundancy board through the Takamak ice, soft and hardware. So, you'll have to do this on site. The new owners can't know about the board, or they'll shut it down faster than Nug orgasms. Okay. We can then use that energy to bolster our automated security systems. I already have a code jockey reworking the schemata to allow for that. And let the CGTs come. When the turrets are done, we'll scavenge their stiffs for orcs. Now the bulb bed is just that, completely worthless for anything outside a lab. I want you to handle the practical side of things. Get that Takamak working for us. I've uploaded the particulars to your end. Questions? Welcome back, guys. Yeah, thick enough to fry your neuron solid if you ain't careful. And no wonder you don't want it to be easy to mess with a fucking fusion reactor. Yeah. Security? Corpsec has always relied on automated security systems to keep order. We're gonna repurpose some of it for our own protection. Those turrets pack a serious punch, but we'll need more energy for it to work. Well, host kill. That NG rip talked in the end. They all do. We're still missing five indents. All of them worked at the XMAT lab in the rest dev zone. Could be they just up and disappeared at the same time. I don't believe in coincidences, but what can we do? Can't save them all. Independence? If we can just prevent the CGTs from grabbing our stack cluster for long enough, our indent contracts will be voided. That's true independence. CGTs? Never heard of a corporate grab team? They're specialists, elite. Whenever a corporation collapses, they go in and grab property for their employers. I have no clue how it's done. Wish we could do it ourselves, but you know what wishes are like, right? Right? Reactor? Yep. Same trusty old RBM-5 fusion document which keeps our stacks lit at night. I know you're a sewage specialist, but that makes you perfect for this job. It's all about valves and pipes and stubborn SIs. Practical sign? Yeah, you know, fighting ferals, avoiding gun turrets, pushing buttons, uh, possibly exposing yourself to lethal doses of radiation. Practical. Good. Let's get it done! Yeah, practical. Okay, go to the reactor. The reactor is is up there. Is there anything I need to do down here? Am I missing it? It should be here. Oh, scrapland. No, wait for the bacteria to grow. Ah, we get in touch. Liberation operation up in the warrens. Up in the warrens. Everything up in the warrens. One more rep. Why is it there? Okay. Thing about sniper rifles, I need to be able to see to use them. Oh. 
Damn, that was a quick reload. Who needs aiming? Get moving, damn it. Okay. Where the hell is it? Not helping me if I can't reach it. Rooftops? Wait. Am I in the wrong elevation? Yeah, probably am. And why do you have to be confusing? This is the wrong place. What? And where the hell do I need to go? I'm in the fucking same place!
Well, do I need to go? Well, the hell is it? <coughs> There was nothing there. This isn't Steamtown. Where do you want me to go? Up there. Liberation operation. I'm gonna try that. Scar land. I have no scar land. I need the warrants. <sighs> Damn, that reload is quick. Also pretty quick. But homing bullets in a game where it's so hard to aim. White Dragon Noodle Bar. Up to High Street.
Where are you sending me? Over there. Can't go there yet. Lost and found. I need to report back. Can't go there yet. Exotic dinner. Can't go there yet. Can't go there yet. Can't go there yet. And... I don't know what you want from me. Fine. Warrens. Ah! Bounty athlet Athletic Ryan, okay. I much prefer a weapon that rewards uh, precision. Just wish this game would support more precision. Yay, back to the deep sting. This is the feed, and I'm forever your great left. Damn, the push of us with this gun. Sorry.
money. More money. What the hell is that thing? You have to shoot high when they're in the air. I thought energy damage would be more appropriate against them. Yeah, a company will come pick me up from the stink, that's nice. How the hell am I getting over there? What? What the hell? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, that's the thing. Icebreaker goggles? More head protection, less aim, more other protection. Yeah, switch over. Oh, they even look nicer. No witnesses, or something. 
Oh, never been here before. RBM-5. The RBM-5 Tokamak was one of the first fusion reactors to be installed in the ecology, and it has been upgraded and augmented many times since its inception. The Taurus-type plasma containment chamber forms the reactor core, to which numerous systems have been added and or jury rigged over time. The reactor has been slated for a complete replacement for at least 69 standard, but it seems to constantly slip down the prioritization schedule. The denizens of the deep stink are happy with this as it allows them to siphon off power from the chaotic grid surrounding the reaction. Bezelcheck is a man of science, or at least he likes to think so, all the while bending his vast intellect in the steadfast pursuit of the almighty credit. Fascinated with the idea of quantum mechanics and spooky action in the distance, from a young age, he spent his entire life devoted to pushing the boundaries of matter transfer, ultimately with an eye towards weaponizing the very latest in teleportation technology. They say you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, well in Bizzlecheck's case he's ready to break all the eggs in the world just so he can perfect the ultimate omelette recipe and then sell it to the highest bidder. So what do you say? You're for the job, ready to do your part for science? I mean, come on, these people you'll be putting into stasis, the ones you're gonna be kinda sort of teleporting but not really. The bad, bad people who really don't deserve to live anyway, yes? Just remember, science! Radiation error area. Boost cooling system. And get rid of fouls. Cooling control. Loot. What the hell? Light Monobot. Kill the robot with energy damage type. These monos were designed for policing and riot management, as reflected by their agile body design and balanced programming. With extra resources spent on their controlling algorithms, these bots exhibit complex behavior superior to most other similar machines. This is reflected in their advanced combat protocols. The RBM-5 Tokamak. 
The tokamak was one of the first fusion reactors to be installed in the Arcology, and it has been upgraded and augmented many times since its inception. Yeah, I already read that. Uh, the routing of major power lines and the installment of additional security systems around the new area has caused unexpected fluctuations which the reactor SI is desperately trying to juggle against the already dangerously overloaded power grid. No wonder the poor thing shut itself down. Okay, so it's useful to use energy weapons versus robots. Good to know. I picked up a new thing, right? No? The vest? Kill ball vest. Okay, I got it. Looks a very cooling system. Online. How do you do that? Fintech trousers. That's an energy module. E seven seven superior. What do we have? 
Pintech trousers, slightly more protection. I need I need to keep up my energy protection for now. So no. E seven seven superior energy assault rifle. Um, energy weapon. Compare it to this then. Hmm, low DPS, still on auto. Uh, clip size, less knockback. Yeah. Sure, let's try it. Let's see how the robots like it. Hellfire War Jacket. <laughs> Override distribution hub. Where are they coming from? Well, it does stagger them nicely, but it might take too long. Move, damn it, move, move. Excellent job! Now cover the whole thing. 
thing up and get back here so we can celebrate. Remember, any new owners cannot know about this. Ready to install mod patch. Conceal the drain. Shouldn't I have done that first? Um, what, what am I supposed to be doing here? It's here. There is no other here. Need to be on the other side. How? Yeah, the reactor. Spider bots. You always have to have a spider bot. And tiny spider bots. Let me the hell out! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think that was a bug that gave me three of them.
God damn it! God damn it. And of course he recharges the full. Okay, I gotta stop now. I gotta eat lunch. Uh, maybe I'll get back to it later. Uh, see you next time. Stay good. Have fun.